still no decision on the fate of a San Antonio police officer who hit and killed a fellow officer late last year. The department is recommending an indefinite suspension for the officer David Seaton, but he still has a few days left to set up a meeting with the chief to try to save his job. And now a News 4 WOAI troubleshooters investigation reveals how dozens of SAPD officers have been in multiple accidents but are still on the road. News 4 WOAI troubleshooter Brian Collister uncovered it may be putting you and your family in danger. Brian. Elsa, you know, it's happened to all of us. You're driving down the road and all of a sudden a police officer comes out of nowhere and blows by you like 100 miles an hour. Or maybe you're about to go through an intersection and all of a sudden a cop comes out of nowhere. Sometimes no lights, no sirens. Well, the harsh reality is, is that in some cases, that police car winds up looking like this and somebody winds up dead. He saw the good side of things. He was a hard worker. He had many, many friends, people that loved him. Rodney Brandenberger was driving home one night in 2006 when he was plowed into and killed by a San Antonio police officer's car. Life will never be the same. That was just two weeks before Rodney was supposed to get married. A big portion of, of our lives ended with Rodney. He was a very bright spot in everybody's life and it'll never be the same without him. Officer Winder Morales was racing to a call when he ran a red light. This is video of the accident picked up by a security camera. You can see a flash of light as the two vehicles collide at the intersection of Somerset Road and Southwest Military. He should have known what his actions could do. And, uh, you know, we don't accomplish anything if he kills somebody on the way to an accident, any type of uh, call that he might be making. Turns out accidents come easy to Morales. He had two before this fatal crash and got into a fourth accident just a few weeks later. The News 4 WOAI troubleshooters went over the police department's officer accident records. That's where I was able to find out that Morales isn't the only officer needing driving lessons. Juan Delgado and Michael Burtz have crashed the most cop cars, seven since 2002. They've hit trees, light poles, and had other minor fender benders. Both have been suspended several times, but are still on the streets with you. The News 4 WOAI troubleshooters also found 15 officers who'd caused five or more accidents. Last year was apparently a good year with only 147 wrecks caused by cops, as opposed to the 174 the year before. Uh, it's a concern for our safety of our officers, it's a concern for the safety of the public. I asked Chief Bill McManus why he's letting some of these officers still drive. You have some drivers that have a lot of accidents in a short period of time. Should they still be on the street? I would say yes. I mean, I think I would say it's a drastic measure to say that they shouldn't be on the street. The department says accidents will happen with so many officers on the streets and more than 11,000 major emergency calls every year. When they are involved in an accident, we take what we believe to be the, the appropriate corrective action to make sure that, you know, that doesn't happen again. Appropriate action for the crash that killed Rodney Brandenberger? A review panel said he should be indefinitely suspended. The chief busted that down to only a 10-day suspension without pay. But Morales just gave up 10 vacation days. Total disrespect for someone who's supposed to serve the citizens and be there to help take care of the public, it is an absolute slap in the face. The chief says he felt it would be counterproductive to fire Morales, who was moved to another unit and is not allowed to drive a patrol car. As for the other officers on the streets who have multiple accidents, Rodney's mom thinks they are accidents waiting to happen. I think something needs to be done before another family suffers the same loss we have. Now, we think that you have a right to see the names of all of the SAPD officers who have bad driving records. It's public information, and they're on the streets with you. So we put those names on our website at WOAI.com. Go check it out. I'm News 4 WOAI troubleshooter Brian Collister.